What's up guys, Steve here with another stimulus package update as of today, Monday, September the 21st. And in my last video yesterday, I let you guys know that we have about less than two weeks left to come to some sort of agreement. Otherwise, we're gonna be looking at a government shutdown during a pandemic, during an economic crisis with no stimulus package in sight, and right before elections. So today, Monday, the House of Representatives, the good news is they're back in session and they're working away on a stimulus package to help provide provisions. And they're expected to reveal something this week. However, there's been a lot of news rolling out that has sort of pulled the attention away from the stimulus package, including a crashing stock market today, the passing of Supreme Court Justice RBG, Nancy Pelosi calling to once again impeach Donald Trump and also we have the airline industry at Capitol Hill knocking on the door asking for more bailout money. And this is all going to be impacting the stimulus package. So in today's video, I'm going to get you caught up on all the details. And in actuality, this is all potentially probably going to work in our favor to see another stimulus package. So like I said, I'm going to get you all the details in this video. And if you like that, if you could do me a quick favor, smash the like button. It'll just take a second. I would appreciate it. YouTube channel success is pretty much based on interaction. So when you smash the like button and leave comments, it helps me out. Thank you so much. And also just to clarify, this is on the stimulus package negotiations. If you'd like to get caught up in what's happening with LWA, check out this video that I uploaded right here today. And also, if you'd like to keep getting these video updates, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way every time I upload these videos, you can stay notified. And follow me on Instagram at steveram3. All right, so as I mentioned, there's quite a bit of things unfolding right now, and I actually believe a lot of them are gonna work in our favor towards getting a new stimulus package. So let's start off with the stock market. So today we saw things crashing, and now we've seen it gone down from 29 to 26, the Dow Jones Industrial, which is essentially a 10% decline, which is very disheartening for investors. However, keep in mind, this is quite a bit smaller than what we saw when things first started unraveling back in March of 2020. We saw the drop from the same point, almost 29, all the way down to 19, which is uh, over a 30% drop, one of the largest drops we have ever seen. But what's different about what's happening right now is that this is right before elections. So if you're the sitting president, you don't want to see things drop. So this is going to put additional pressure for them to push things back up so that way things are looking good right before elections. And it is said that this drop right now is due to U.S. large caps weakness in real-time economic indicators and a lack of progress on stimulus packages. So in other words, aka, large companies aren't feeling optimistic about the future and we still don't have a stimulus package yet. So this is going to apply more pressure though for us to get one soon. Also, as I mentioned, Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away at the age of 87 last week. Now, President Donald Trump said that he is going to be reassigning a Supreme Court justice in her place right away after the funeral, and he will also be making it another woman to honor that position. Now, this will make it the third Supreme Court justice out of the nine positions that have been assigned by President Donald Trump during his presidency. So he has assigned three in the past three and a half years, which is now making it have a very conservative stance at this time. Now it's rumored that when Nancy Pelosi heard this, that she suggested that she could have a stimulus package agreement ready right away if President Donald Trump agreed to hold off on appointing the new Supreme Court justice. This of course would be in her hope that President Donald Trump is not reelected. Joe Biden is elected as the new president. And then when he steps in, he would appoint the new Supreme Court justice. And then it would be somebody who is less conservative. So this is something that potentially we could see. Now, if this is the case, keep in mind that she said that this is in exchange for an agreement on a stimulus package. So this could apply additional pressure to Nancy Pelosi to provide some sort of agreement on a stimulus package for us right away. So this also could potentially work in our favor. However, that was until today, when we heard that Nancy Pelosi is now suggesting of impeaching President Donald Trump once again. And for what reason? simply just to stall him from appointing the new Supreme Court justice. That's right, she's gonna try and stall out President Donald Trump so that way he can appoint it in hopes that he's not reelected, Joe Biden comes in and then he can appoint the new Supreme Court justice. Now, this actually has been done before and successfully by Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. That's right, when President Obama was supposed to appoint the new Supreme Court justice, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell actually waited out eight months in hopes that President Donald Trump would be elected, and he was, and then they appointed the new Supreme Court justice, so it actually worked out just as he planned. 
And additionally, as I mentioned in my last video, pressure is also mounting from the airline industry. So during the last stimulus package, the airline industry received a bailout. However, it was conditional upon them not doing mass layoffs of their employees so that way they can keep those people employed at this time. Well, we're now reaching the deadline for that agreement and the airlines came back and said that their revenue is down by 85% and if they don't have bailout money, they're gonna have to do mass layoffs and their entire industry is in jeopardy. So they are currently asking for more stimulus and they said that they need to have it before October 1st of 2020. That is the first day that they could do mass layoffs. So turns out there actually is bipartisan agreement on this. Everybody says we need to bail out the airline industry. So they're actually gonna be including this in the stimulus package. So this is actually great news. This is gonna be a part of our provisions that we're gonna be receiving for our economy. So this is going to put additional pressure on Congress to provide something in the form of a stimulus package agreement before October 1st of 2020. So with everything going on, we are hoping that Congress is gonna be providing the stimulus package very soon. It's very likely it's gonna be revealed this week and it's still uncertain if it's going to be a bulked up version of the Problem Solvers Caucus proposal, which is a 1.5 trillion adjustable stimulus package, adjustable to the needs of the economy, or if it's gonna be a watered down Heroes Act, which was last at $2.2 trillion. So we're gonna see what unfolds there, but it is likely, a lot of people believe, it's gonna be this new Problem Solvers Caucus proposal because we have bipartisan agreement upon that already and we're just going to work to get something a little bit more enticing to each party. Now one of the things that's included in that is stimulus checks. That's right, you're expected to get stimulus checks from that and included in there is a $1,200 stimulus check and once again just to remind you it's the same eligibility as the previous one we saw in the CARES Act which is if you make $75,000 a year or less, you can expect to receive a $1,200 stimulus check. If you make $75,000 a year to $99,000 a year, you can expect to receive a partial stimulus check. And if you make over $99,000 a year, you are not eligible to receive a stimulus check. Couples filing jointly can expect to receive $2,400 if they make $150,000 a year or less. If you make $150,000 to $198,000 a year, you can expect to receive a partial stimulus check. And if you make more than $198,000 a year as a couple filing jointly, you are not eligible to receive a stimulus check. Dependents, you can expect to receive $500 per dependent, unlike the HEROES Act, which calls for $1,200 per dependent. Also, adult dependents can expect to receive a $500 stimulus check as well and retroactively since they were left out in the last round. We are also expecting to see an FPUC extension in the stimulus package that's revealed. Now, in the HEROES Act that was proposed several months ago, it called for a $600 per week FPUC unemployment enhancement on top of unemployment benefits, just like we saw before from the CARES Act. And this would apply retroactively from the time that we saw FPUC expire back at the end of July, and it would apply all the way until the end of the year. Now, in the Problem Solvers uh, Caucus proposal, it actually calls for eight weeks transition period that provides $450 per week on top of unemployment benefits, then followed up by a wage replacement period where you would receive $600 per week, up to $600 per week of wage replacement, ensuring that you don't make more money on unemployment than you did when you were actually working. Now it states that this is supposed to be applied in mid-October and go through January. Now, if this is only 13 weeks and not eight weeks transition period plus 13 weeks, that's gonna leave a lot of gaps where people are not receiving any enhanced unemployment benefits. So we're gonna see what unfolds there. Maybe that will change, but this is currently what is proposed from the Problem Solvers Caucus proposal. And it also calls for an additional three months uh, automatic booster if needed in 2021. So we might also see that for FPUC as well. Well, you guys, that is your update as of today, Monday, September the 21st, in regards to the stimulus package negotiations. And I know there's a lot unfolding right now and it's sort of distracting, but don't lose focus. It looks like this is all gonna help us in the stimulus package. So I'll be sure to share any updates that unfold. I'll make sure to keep you guys up to date on all of the details. And if you like that, if you could do me a quick favor, smash that like button and it'll just take a second. I would appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you'd like to keep getting these video updates, once again, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, so that way every time I upload, you can stay notified and also, once again, follow me on Instagram at SteveRam3. And if you'd like to be a part of something positive and encouraging, a group of us are getting together on Thursday evenings to do Bible studies on Facebook at teachjesus.app on Facebook. Just a simple invitation if you might be interested. And also, if you like some fashionable, modest women's clothing, go ahead and check out my wife's website at www.nayaellaboutique.com. Well, you guys, I hope this video was informative and helpful. I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date. I hope this reaches you well. God bless. Take care. This is Steve.